Hey there. Positive affirmations. I am super upset. I wrote this earlier on today. I am super upset. I had, I feel, a perth staring at me. I had a panic attack. It is a panic attack that will not be able to, rec I will not be able to recover from a full panic attack that will last all day. I cried in the street. I bawled my eyes out. Perths are something that disgusts me with so such a full level of disgust. To be reduced in what I feel is a revolting way down to my physical appearance. I hid behind a tree because I knew damn well that I was looking at a panic attack if he didn't leave me alone. When I looked around the tree, there he was staring at me. That's when, boom, just my mind was gone. Um, I felt that he was staring because of a perverted, a perverted sexual motive. My mind was just annihilated at that point, annihilated at that point. I had hit the point of no return where a panic attack would last all day. That is why I cried in the street. So I'm here in the supermarket, just aware that I feel someone evil has ruined my day by being the most, I feel, sexually unhealthy person possible. I felt that his lascivious looks were just so offensive and rotten that out of pure offence at the way he dared to think of me, I just, my mind just broke. Now I am not myself. I am having a panic attack that will last all day. I can't even begin to explain how much this hurts. This... This describes every day for me. Every day, I feel that someone causes me a panic attack, basically from being the most offensive, creepy person possible. When I went to London, this was yesterday, nobody, nobody treated me this way. This is why I feel my town gets the title of worst place to live in the UK. My life is literally hell. I am suffering like F. I'm suffering like F. The pain is just on another level. If I lived in London, I would be free of panic attacks. Every day, every day. Here it is the reality. I feel that this is just because of how evil the people are. Again, I can't even begin to explain how much I'm suffering. These panic attacks, every day I'm having several panic attacks because of evil people, in my opinion. I feel I'm having panic attacks because of evil people. There is hope though. I have the business. I feel that the only way to avoid panic attacks is to get out of what I feel is a complete hellhole. There is another positive thing as well. I have started doing journaling. <coughs> I know that I have been holding my feelings in. I have taken myself to such a psychopathic sense of charm through a lifetime of abuse that I have completely lost the ability to see people for who they are when they are being evil. I feel that this is a way 
a way in when it comes to solving my anxiety. I have circuitry in my mind. I can feel it. I can feel it in my head when it activates. It just, it's like, phew, that gaslights my feelings. It tells me what I'm feeling is wrong. I will double down on feeling everything I am feeling in an attempt to completely destroy the circuitry. I is capable of doing this. I just want to be able to validate myself. It is the only way my empathy will grow. Empathy will be the power that, that will destroy my panic attacks. I don't feel this is possible here though. I genuinely, and with all my awareness, feel that this town is just too evil, with such evil people. I feel that everyone I have any contact with, for example, people who I walk past in the street, I feel like I am being mugged, mugged for a dopamine hit. It blows my mind that when I was in London, I went all day feeling triggered. Though no one, not one, not one single person tried to get a dopamine high off of me, I was totally fine. It's totally true. I suffer like I am being tortured for information every day. Even even where I live, I have my I feel I have bad neighbours that I feel my neighbours are abusing me. I feel I'm being tortured for information when I'm here. When I am there, I am totally fine. This is my hope. My only hope... My only hope is to get out of this town. I feel hate for all the people. Raging hate. I feel that they are the most absolute lowest form of life. The good news is that this is journaling. It is actually developing my empathy. I found this ironic thinking that through thoughts about how people are so evil made me more respectful of said people. There's no harm in pegging people for who they are. It is a feature of empathy. If we don't know what evil is, how can we know good? How can we know right from wrong when we don't know what wrong was? I feel I had a form of psychopathy. I would tell myself that if I ever had a bad thought about anyone, it would mean that I was evil. I thought that being good was never ever having a negative thought about anyone. I was really messed up. I thought... It was always pointing to me as being the problem was the righteous thing to do. I was invalidating all, like every single feeling. I, I was invalidating all my feelings, every single one. That is why I felt that it was a form of psychopathy without feeling feelings. That is what a psychopath is. That is why they are so charming. That is why in a university study in the States, they found that psychopaths roommates found them to be nice people. Psychopaths don't allow themselves to have anything negative in their minds about other people, in my opinion. That is why that people find them charming and nice. I had this problem. I feel this is why psychopathy is linked to anxiety. The mind needs to know the evil of other people. In fact, this is the centre of empathy and boundaries. That is why I feel my feelings will... That is why I feel my feelings will help my anxiety. I'm just not allowing myself to understand the aspects of people around me that are causing me anxiety. I, I feel like I have in my head just effed. I feel like I'm having my head just f, like trying to like just fleece me. They're just trying to fleece me. Take, take away, take away, away, take away my awareness. Just, they just want to take it. Like with all this that they're doing, I just feel like they're just trying to take my awareness off me. I, 
I will never know that I will be ne I will never know that I I would never know that I was never be having any quality of life unless I left here. Thank you. Bye bye.